Hi, welcome back here on Prime Morning, and it's a trendy Thursday morning. I hope you're doing well this morning. You're waking up uh, to some very good news, bad news, whatever it is. Just keep your head up and keep yourself going. Now, let's get into what's trending this morning and find out what conversations you've been having on social media in your various homes. And uh, some of them probably you know about, uh, some you don't know about it. I'm here to share. All right. So let's get into our very first uh, story for what's trending this morning. Dr. Baumia rewards attack credit taxi driver who returned their passengers money with 20,000 Ghana cities. A taxi driver and applauded on social media after a video of his act of sincerity went viral. As shared on Twitter, the taxi driver returned a substantial amount of money left in his car by one of his passengers. Now, according to reports, the passenger, a fishmonger, chatted a driver last Friday, May said, and forgot her money in the car. But upon seeing the money in the car the following day, this good Samaritan driver returned it to the woman in her house where she dropped her off. A video of the fishmonger and driver has since gone viral on Ghana's social media with many Ghanaians praising the cab driver for his good deed. Now, the vice president of Ghana, Dr. Mahomud Baumia, has given a sum of 20,000 Ghana cities to Chrissy Akon. The driver, Dr. Baumia, made a donation through investigative journalist Manasseh Azuri Awoni. Manasseh presented an additional 2,500 from two other unnamed donors, making a total of 22,500 uh, Ghana cities, the report said. And uh, that's one issue that has been trending. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about uh, and people still, you know, uh, having the belief that there are some good men out there. And uh, this is really, really commendable. And so uh, I, I think that every single thing that has been given to this man, he actually deserves it. And uh, we can all make the world a better place by emulating this. If it's not yours, it's not yours. And that's, that's the bottom line. I mean, uh, the money you're taking, what does not belong to you, uh, could be ending somebody's life, you know, and you returning it can be saving a life as well. So uh, let's just be, you know, the good people out there as much as we can. All right. And away from that, um, if I score a coup for 20%, I've done him a big favor. Our boy Siki says so. Come on with actor, our boy Siki has said. He's uh, rating President Akufuado's second term with a 20% score as a favor because the president actually deserves a far less. According to the celebrated Kumawood actor, no Ghanaian can say he or she has been comfortable under Nana Ado Dankwa Akufuado's second, since, uh, second term uh, since January 2021. And he says since January 2021, there is no Ghanaian who can say their life has been better off under Akufuado's government uh, versus nobody. Life has been very hard for Ghanaians. According to him, President Akufuado did well in his first term because of the free SHS uh, school program, but all his other programs failed. Uh, he's, uh, he actually scored the president first term, is 60% to 70%. And his uh, second term, uh, cool, there is nothing he has done correctly. He's off the road totally. And uh, in his first term, I will give him 60 to 70%. But for his second term, if I give him 20% cry, I have free to pay him. It is very bad. The governance is not going well at all. Uh, the veteran actor said that there are a lot of aggrieved people in the country. He also revealed that there are people who supported a change in 2016, but who now complain secretly out of shame. And that's a boy Siki speaking about the uh, governance of uh, His Excellency Nana Adankwa Akofuado. Now, away from that, uh, not true French ambassador on taking up Creative Arts Ministry's job. Now, the French ambassador to Ghana, Her Excellency Anne Sophia Vier, has debunked claims of that she's working harder than the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture. Earlier, after the Accra in Paris concert uh, spearheaded by the ambassador, popular Ghanaian rapper guru took to Twitter to call out the ministry over their failure to prioritize uh, the needs of creatives and also put their works out uh, to the rest of the world. And it says our France ambassador is working harder than our creative and tourism ministry. I appreciate her energy, Guru earlier wrote on social media. But reacting to such claims, Her Excellency Anne Sophie, uh, during an exclusive interview with Elsie Lamar, the VGM recap has said her outfit is doing a totally different job. That's not true. They are doing things for everyone and are also in charge of putting the whole of Ghana out there. I only projected Ghana in France. Uh, we're doing a different job. And the French ambassador added that uh, what is more important is uh, she has seen able uh, is what she's been able to uh, she's been able to break the gap between the French and Ghanaian music industries and that's what matters to her and that's uh, her Excellency 
and Sophie speaking on that issue and reacting to claims that she's taking over the job of the Ministry of uh, Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts. Away from that, I don't know why I keep getting VGM nominations, but I don't win. Can promise says the Ghanaian singer can promise has opened up on receiving international awards, but has not been able to win any uh, VGM plaque. According to him, there haven't been issues between himself and the board. And he says, honestly, I have no issues with the VGMA. If I did, like I won't be on the state performing. I did not know how the, the night was going to go. Obviously, it just went how it went. And at the end of the day, all I'm doing is making my music and pushing the agenda, which is Ghana music to the world, he said. I don't know what the issue is, uh, but my team and I are going to see if there is actually an issue. Can promise added and detailed that he believes that his international laurels should reflect in his home country because its absence puts a shadow on all of the other things. And he says, I'm Ghanaian. When I travel, I'm doing tours or stuff. It's very big. I win awards like Best African Artist in Nigeria. I'm nominated for mobile and stuff. And then when you come back, it's kind of funny. Uh, if you were talking, if you're taking to the world, you have to own your land as well. So obviously, it does matter to me, but it's not the main thing I'm working for. But like you said, it gets a point where it starts to be an issue, he stated in that interview. And that's can promise over there uh, speaking about winning awards out of the country and not making uh, that same awards win here in his homeland country. And uh, he lost uh, totally. Uh, they've just ended VGMA awards. And he seemed to see uh, some sort of problem with that now. And uh, he's hoping that things are able to be resolved, uh, you know, between himself and the team or uh, the board of the VGMAs. That's if there's a problem in the first place. But that's going to be all for what's trending this morning right here on the show. Don't forget that on the 28th of May, uh, we're all meeting at the Aviation Social Center for the Heads of Fam Rep Your Jersey 2022. It's the biggest comeback and you want to be a part of it. Is it going to be Real Madrid or is it going to be Liverpool? The grand finale is happening on the 28th of this month at the Aviation Social Center. I want you to come through. We're going to start at 12 noon all the way through to uh, midnight. Yes, uh, because there's a party. There's a jams after uh, the main, you know, uh, football thing. So make sure that you come through. We're mixing sports and entertainment together. Talking about sports, it's about time that we check out the latest updates in the world of sports right here on the show. Some highlights that we've got for you right here on Prime Morning. Check them out.